Christians across the country were in prayers at different churches to thank God for ushering them into a new year. At Namirembe Cathedral in Kampala, the prayers were led by the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Stanley Ntagali. In the sermon, he recalled that 2018 was a tough year. He cited murders of many prominent Ugandans and several accidents that took place in which dozens of Ugandans died. And we lost many people. You remember the Kaptura incident? Where many people died. The water incident. When our people died in Lake Victoria when the, the boat capsized. You remember the fire of a school where many school children were burnt in their school. There are many who died natural death. Some of them were related to us. Ntagali was also distressed by the rich who grab land and evict poor tenants. You know that many Ugandans, are, many poor Ugandans are being evicted. Poor families. Some of them are orphans. The elderly by the rich people of Uganda. Many are becoming orphans, in, I mean, of, uh, becoming refugees in their own country. But of course I'm aware that there are those who grab people's land, including church land. Yeah. On politics, he criticized the Ugandan legislators for showing a responsible examples to electorates like the fight that broke out in the August House in 2017. In my sincere prayer, that this year 2019, there will be no fighting in the parliament of Uganda. That year was a disaster. We pray that there will be no fighting. And we pray that there will be no fighting. That our politicians will put Uganda and the people of Uganda above self. To serve the people who sent them there. In that they will be blessed. Other areas the Archbishop expressed concerns over include the high cases of corruption, defilement, domestic violence, and youth unemployment. Joblessness is a big issue in this country. And because they are jobless, because our children are jobless, they are taken advantage of. Some are exported as labor force. Although the Archbishop of Church of Uganda has given us his spiritual guidance for 2019, the task is upon all of us in our different capacities as Christians, leaders and politicians to make 2019 a better year for everyone. Philip Aguta reporting from Namirembe Cathedral in Kampala.